Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday the 20th, also known as Boston Marathon Day, and today was a amazingly, you know, inspiring, powerful day, all that good stuff, but weather-wise was absolutely horrendous. It was wet and cold and just crazy cold and windy this morning, headed out, um, decided, the runner I was out here with, decided they didn't want to take the uh, van down to the train station and all that, so we took off early on ourselves and drove down, parked the car, everything went smooth, everything went great there, jumped on the subway, and then basically headed in, and you could tell it was trying to rain outside, but it wasn't quite raining yet, so we were having pretty hopeful, all that good stuff. Um, we get to where we're going, pop up at Boston Common there, end up going to find the bag check, dropped off her gear bag, um, her drop bag, whatever you want to call it, it's basically a bag at the end of the race, it'll have dry clothes, shoes, everything she'd want to have in it, a lot of people put their phone in it, other kinds of stuff like that, so she actually took her phone with her, although she had it on um, airplane mode, so it wasn't killing her battery and getting all the weird beep updates and driving her nuts throughout the whole run, so she went ahead and basically headed up to the bus um, station, waiting to jump on the school bus to head down to the start, which is about 26 miles away, so actually it's a point-to-point -point race, unlike a lot of them, which are kind of loops that come back and you start and finish the same spot. Other ones that um, even if they come back and start near, they'll usually have a different stop or finish line. They'll throw your gear in a truck, like a UPS truck or FedEx truck, and haul it to the finish for you. Here, you pick it up right where you dropped it off. So she got on the bus. Um, she was waiting for a wave, and finally, some lady came by. It's a bus that were leaving empty for the faster waves, and they were going to be filled up, overfilled later because it was so cold. Everybody was waiting to leave as late as they could. They finally said, just anybody at the bit, you can get on the bus. You don't have to be your wave, don't be your color, whatever. So she jumped on the bus right away. I hit had, um, basically said bye to her. She took off. I hit her down and kind of walked back through the um, crowd a little bit. Realized that what the hell, I might as well go to my uh, place I was going to hang out and watch the race from. Which I jumped on the um, subway again, headed out to mile 17 and got there. And it was ooh, like four hours early. It was ridiculously early because I rode in with her instead of hanging around the hotel and that and whatnot. So I got in there. It was started raining on the, on the bus, on the train right out there. Subway, we want to call it because it popped out above ground. And then I could see the windshield wipers were on the train. It was making me nervous. So I did luckily have a poncho. Um, she bought one yesterday at Cheers Bar, hoping that she wouldn't need it in the morning, which she didn't. Thank goodness when she got on the bus. So I used it all day. Um, threw it on. I wanted to get it on before I got soaking wet. Cause a lot of idiots will wait until it's too late and then throw it on. So wait around for like ever. Walked around, just bored out of my mind. Find up, find a um, group of running people that were friends with my buddy from out in D.C. and that they kind of they they all met them through the Marine Corps marathon. Hung out with them for a while, played with a guy's dog for a while and that, and got to see the wheelchairs go by, got to see the elite men, the elite women, and then just tons and tons of waves of people going by until they finally got to her wave. And by that point, it was raining. It was raining hard. It was cold. It was windy. It was disgusting. I was just freezing to death. My body was shivering. I was having trouble. Even just, I couldn't hold myself still. So I left my good camera at home. I got a couple of pictures of my cell phone. That's all I had because I wasn't going to have it out there all day. The car was parked, you know, 50 miles away, 100 miles away, where the hell I was at, but way out by the island, it was not going back to it, so went ahead, got done there, finally got to see her, so the woman I was talking to, her husband came by shortly after, took some pictures of them together, he headed off, and then I basically went back to the training with the lady there, we texted each other the pictures we got of each other, saying it's kind of funny, got the pictures back to each other, got on the train, headed back to the city, hung out near the finish line, trying to see her at the finish, didn't happen, I just, it was, the security net was just horrendous, it was so crowded, I gave up. Saw her right after the finish line, though, um, then walked her back up to the gear check space station. Went and found her someplace to change. Um, we were supposed to go to the Fenway Park afterwards for the after party. It's outdoors in the park. It's raining. She's so cold. She goes, you couldn't get me there if you paid me 100 bucks." So said to help it, um, jumped on the train, headed back to the car, headed back to the house, got warmed up, got showered, got hot water, got just, you know, both of us got thawed while she was warming up. I went for my run because I'd ran in the morning on the Boston Marathon Trail, but I didn't have my GPS watch, so it didn't count. So I went out for a run along the beach horrendous storm. I made a little video of it. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but it was just so gross, so cold, was out running, had a great time. Ended up running into another couple who were from around here running by the ocean in the crazy storm too, so that was kind of funny. So talked to them for a while as we ran, which was a fun little thing to do. And then from there, basically headed back up, um, got my shower, got warmed up, and then headed down to the hot tub. I didn't feel like getting in, I feel like showering again. And she went ahead and sucked in the hot tub for about 40 minutes just to kind of get the heat through to her bones. And Went out and grabbed a bite to eat, and then basically wrapped it up and called it a night. So that's all I got for now. We're going to head back home in the morning, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.